I never sell anything until I know what that person needs and wants. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Matterhorn Business Development YouTube channel. I am Neil Winteregg, I am your host today. So today I wanna to talk about some pitch techniques and the positives and the negatives so that you can make sure you don't fall into any of these traps or any of these pitfalls that actually happen all the time when it comes to selling. So before I get into that, be sure you like, subscribe, and leave any information that you'd like to uh, down below. Questions that you might want me to answer next video, anything along that line, please go ahead and leave that there and I can address it in a future video about what techniques you might need some help with. So let's talk about a couple of ways to improve your sales pitch and make sure that you're actually getting the best results that you can. Now I'm gonna try and keep this short. I could probably spend hours on this and I'm gonna try not to do that. So. If you do need some specific guidance, like I said, put something down below or reach out to me and I will help you with your pitch. So the first thing I wanna say about most salespeople is they talk way too much, okay? Now this is something that people say and you'll find other people talking about how salespeople talk too much, but I'm serious about this, okay? Your sales pitch should only be one, two, three, four minutes tops, no matter what it is that you're selling. If you've done your homework and you've done all the previous steps that you should, the pitch itself is actually very easy. So the first thing that I would say is don't talk too much and be sure you ask many more questions than you are right now. So my first thing I would say as far as improving your pitch, number one, introduce yourself to the person that you're actually speaking with. Hello, my name's Neil, what's your name? Welcome, how did you find out about us? Where are you from? That's an interesting accent. Where did you move here from? Whatever it might be, spend three, four, five minutes talking to somebody about where they're from, what they do, anything that you find yourself asking yourself in your head, like where did they buy those shoes? What kind of car is that? Anything that you wanna know, you ask and actually start building a rapport with this person, okay? So introducing yourself, your name, Finding out more about them is key to actually building a relationship that they're gonna be able to then feel like they trust you on because you're not just there trying to sell them something. Number two, don't pitch everyone, okay? You don't have to go up to every person you see frantically pitching your product and telling about how great you are. As an example, for instance, I recently bought this water bottle off of Amazon. It was like $25. This thing is great. It keeps everything cool. Even on a hot day in Florida, I can stick it in my car, leave it in there, come back out, get nice ice cold water. I can still hear the ice inside of it. This thing's great. Now, I personally think everybody could benefit by having this water bottle. Now, if I am the manufacturer, I am the seller of this water bottle, I am not going to just go around and say, you need to buy my water bottle. It's so much better than that piece of crap that you have, right? Okay, that might be true. Maybe this is better than the piece of crap that they have, but maybe they really like that water bottle. Maybe it was a gift from their eight-year-old daughter for Father's Day, and that's why they carry it everywhere they go. If you go around pitching everybody, you're gonna waste a lot of time because that person's not a prospect for you. No matter how great your water bottle is, I guarantee you that the water bottle that his daughter bought him for Father's Day is going to be the water bottle he carries around with him. So just because your product is better doesn't mean you gotta go around and try and tell everybody why they should buy it. I have, might not have any interest in buying it, so the point is, don't go around pitching everybody because you might be wasting time from actual qualified people who want to buy your product because you're wasting it on people that you have zero chance of selling. So don't pitch everybody. Pitch only the people that you're interested in and that you like and that have a need for your product or service. The other thing I see is people give the sales pitch too soon. And this is similar to the previous one, but. What I tend to mean by that is, I show up at your car dealership, I show up at your store, I call your office and I say, hey, how much does it cost to have my chimney sweeped? Oh, well, we charge $89 for the first hour and then the second hour is gonna be this and you're automatically assuming and automatically giving me a pitch and a price and everything, but you don't actually know anything about me, okay? What kind of fireplace do you have? How big is it? How many stories? Do you have one fireplace at your house? Maybe they have two, maybe they have three. You have no idea, but now you're giving them a price and because you don't have all the information that you need, you might give them wrong information. You might even find out that they think they need their chimney sweeped and then you show up and you find out that they have a fake fireplace that doesn't even have a chimney. 
Well, that is the type of stuff that you should have figured out in your interview or your consultation before you actually sent somebody out there or gave a price or gave a quote. So what I tend to find is people don't do enough of an appointment or a consultation. And this is something that I dive into in our video course that we've been filming and is probably available for sale or about to be available for sale, is that the actual interview and consultation process actually does all of the work of your pitch. Your pitch is just filling the need that they have. But guess what? If you're pitching everybody or you're pitching too soon in the conversation, then you don't actually know if I need or want your service or I'm actually a prospect for you. I never sell anything until I know what that person needs and wants. I won't talk prices. I won't talk anything until I actually find out what they need and want. Now, I don't sit there and say, listen, until you give me more information, I'm not telling you anything. I very calmly, very collectedly go, wow, that's very interesting. Why don't we get back to that in a second? Now, I have a question for you. Um, what type of fireplace is it? Is it brick? Is it tall? Is it wide? Is it clogged? Why do you think you need it cleaned? Whatever I can to get that person into communication with me. Now, right now, if I called and said, hey, how much does my chimney get sweeped, uh, cost to get swept, you might spend two or three minutes on the phone with me. You should probably spend eight, nine, or 10 minutes on the phone with me before you get to your pitch. This is number four here, okay? When you get to the pitch, usually the pitch is too long and you go into some pre scripted or premeditated thing about how great this water bottle is or how much better your chimney sweeping is than the guy down the street. And what tends to happen is that I'm interested in your product. I'm already pretty much ready to buy your product, but you keep talking and you keep talking and you keep talking. And now I start to get bored. And now I start to think, well, that doesn't sound right. Maybe I should go somewhere else. Maybe somebody else does. All because your pitch is so long, I've lost interest in talking to you now. So what I typically find is people spend way too much time talking about the product. They have some long drawn out pitch that is boring or is longer than it needs to be. And I'll be honest with you, all of my best sales, all my best closes usually don't even have a pitch. I literally have gotten so much information about the person and about the need and about what they're thinking. Go back to my mind reading video. I find out what they're thinking so that I know exactly what to do to help them. And I say, listen, here's what I'm gonna do for you. We're gonna do this because of this reason. We're gonna do this because it's gonna help you with this. And this is gonna address your concerns regarding that. And it's gonna cost this much money. And that's what we're gonna do. And they go, great. There are zero questions when you've gotten your homework done. So the first thing I will tell you is be sure to do your homework. Avoid those four common mistakes. And again, those mistakes are not introducing yourself and actually making a connection to the person, okay? Trying to pitch everybody you come into contact with. Number three was pitching too soon, meaning you didn't have enough homework or enough information to actually determine what this person needed and wanted. And number four, your pitch is probably too long. Like I said, if the actual pitch is longer than three or four minutes and we're not talking about you know some billion dollar takeover of a company then it's probably too long okay so go back take a look and what you might find out is that you're actually losing people because you're falling into one of these pitfalls and you're making mistakes that is making the customer me want to go somewhere else because you've got these things out of whack so again be sure you ask more questions about the person and talk to them and never give a price or never try and sell somebody something until you know exactly what they need and exactly what they're thinking. And if you do that, you will make a lot more money and you'll help a lot more customers and they're gonna be very excited to buy from you and send all their family and friends to do the same because you took care of them. I hope that helps. I'll see you next time. Leave a like and subscribe down below for more sales tips like this. And if you have any other specific questions about your pitch, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get in touch with you and help you with it. Thank you.